Alrighty everyone, welcome back, it's Chuck Thunder and we have been working on my Elk Mountain series here. Just grinding away, picking up our grass and selling it. Um, pretty much waiting for our um, money to start building up here and we also are waiting for our um, small silage pile to ferment, um, which if my math is correct, we'll get roughly around three and a half times the value of what I just got here in grass value, um, which would be nice. We'll get like, you know, four or five grand, which give us, uh, you know, a total of like fifteen total thousand dollars, or not a little bit less than that, like 13,000 total. Um, and we've been talking about my time playing the game here and my, to myself, what I might do with that money. Um, I really want to like start earning on a daily basis here a little bit more money and really the only thing I can do is to capitalize on doing more quarry work while the grass grows so you know and while the silage ferments so we just got to continue to do work like that until we reach something that makes a little more sense for us because we really can't just do, keep doing grass we got to get silage on a regular basis but we cannot afford a large enough silo in order to do a massive amount of silage and so I've been looking into getting um, one of these looking into getting a baler um, and one of the balers I was looking into was one that can wrap and um, where is it? here's a wrap one that can wrap and make bales so that's gonna be ninety nine thousand dollars almost hundred thousand dollars to do that um, and I thought maybe oh well then what we can do is we can lease it because if we can lease it you know if we can lease it we can well, are we gonna make our monies back worth yeah we would we absolutely would get our money back each season we'd have to just subtract around um, five thousand plus give or take any work days that it takes us to, to use it probably we'll about one and work hours so yeah it'll definitely add up um, for us but that would help us convert our silage a little bit better. Um, I thought maybe about leasing two items. Leasing a really cheap baler for 612, so that cuts our cost down significantly. And then leasing a bale wrapper that could handle a square bale of that size. And that would be even cheaper and we could do that the downfall with this though um I didn't check to see our, yeah we can handle it i think i think our baler would be our our, fork, not our, fork, our tractor can handle it right nah I technically can't handle it so like that's kind of the problem i'm in is that i don't have a large enough trailer to use the bale machine to make the bales i mean i might be able to do that tractor is 100 horsepower and it needs 115 which means it'll probably do the job but just pull it really slowly so we may bite the bullet and try to lease that and do that on the next grass field because if we could do that then we don't need this trailer actually we'd be able to sell this trailer then at that point get some money back and just let the whole entire grass field silate silate is that a word i don't know if it's silate or not um with my microphone here so I'm a little louder um, so it can uh, transition into silage a little faster or a little faster over time here so we can pretty much get those five or six loads that I just did there um, and turn them into three times the amount of money so that would be wonderful if we could do that um, I gotta look into how that will work piece by piece but we need to get there on the next cut um, and we'll and think that's how we'll start because then this silage pit that I made here won't be as useful anymore um, I, I know I may wasted some money on that to do this but you know we'll see we, we just got to see what makes sense um, in the long run here because right now that was all I could afford with a little bit of money and I don't want to I really don't want to lease the equipment either I'd like to purchase the equipment and as we saw when I was looking at it it's gonna cost me at least 12,000 there if I were to buy that one and then another um, oops 34,000 in order to so that's gonna cost me around 40 
six thousand forty seven thousand dollars just to be able to do silage so if i wanted to totally buy it and then i still need a trailer that i could transport now i have this trailer here which i'm pretty sure i can easily do what i need to do with but as we've seen with this trailer um it is a small trailer and i'd only be able to do maybe two or three bales at a time and we are going to fill up rather quickly i think when it comes to that so but we may be able to sell this trailer and lease a bigger trailer leasing might work in our favor for that in a period of time i just i really don't like leasing because i forget that i lease items and i end up paying way too much over time on the leased item so I really don't want to lease items if I can help it. Um, so if I can get to the 12,000 to get the baler, the baler would be nice. Um, and then we lease the wrapper for only when we need to wrap it. And then the baler we just keep. Um, that may be the route we go because then we could always wrap um, or we could always bail everything and then only wrap when we need to wrap. Um, that, that may be the way we go. And then we might then you have the ability to lease a bigger trailer instead of leasing two things at once, you know, three things at once. Um, all right. So anyway, so we are going to the train drop right now um, to drop off this amount. Um, actually, I don't want to hire anybody. We're driving. Um, let's go drop off this small load of rocks there and get it shipped out so we can make an extra couple hundred dollars I think we might make out of this it's not much stones I like to play with the realistic weight mod on um, here so or not the mod but the realistic weight of the trailer so our trailer is only able to carry like 2,000 liters I think all right like we're barely carrying I think we're carrying a thousand liters in our bucket and I think the bucket the trailer might be carrying 2,286 liters um, if I remember correctly. Um, so we really aren't moving a lot of this at once. And it's sort of the downfall with doing a quarry situation with these early game trailers. They just do not have the uh, ability to carry um, enough weight to make these kinds of trips and time and investment worthwhile. So again, another idea might be to find a better trailer for the purposes of doing this kind of work. Um, I just don't know what that'll be. And I don't know it'll make sense for us to buy another trailer and sell this one or at least another trailer and do that because I know this trailer is customizable we could put our um, bales on here which we would need to buy a bale fork for our tractor which is cheap you know a lot of little things that got to be done and it's gonna take us a while before we are ready to do all of that um, but before we get ourselves ahead of too many things I think the main thing we're gonna try to do all right, can we see what we're doing here? Yep, dump that off. Yep, exactly. 2,286 is all that fits in here. And dump our gravel in here. That was easy enough. And let's get that shipped out of here. train come back really you're gonna make this that difficult for me to get into you jeez can I even walk down the train here can I get in thank you we're probably gonna get any money worthwhile for this anyways but we have to try Too fast! Come on! Come on, train! Alright, let's put the 3,285 86 liters of 
gravel in here and see what we get out of it. We're really gonna get anything out of this. But we had this load sitting in there from the last time we were doing some digging. Yeah, 900 bucks. So, it is what it is. We made 900 bucks off of that. We got a, that that's not gonna be worthwhile for us to do 900 bucks at a time like that. So, we will probably have to buy a better trailer if we want to continue to do this kind of work. But that's what we got to do in between um, in order to make some money. In order to, to make some cash flow, we are going to have to continue to do this kind of rock work on a regular basis to really get value. Unless if we hit, you know, some level of um, value while we're in our digging. Uh, now, we're told... In this region, I asked around town what what, what was the mine up in the quarry used for, um, and people said in that quarry they they did do gravel mining, which is what they see me doing here because this is an old mountain range. But what comes in mountain ranges is oftentimes gold, so we are we would love to get into the whole gold business. Um, we could do a little bit of panhandling if we wanted to here, essentially, and get our uh, pay dirt closer to the river that we are nearby and uh, try to bring that up to the um, uh, one area to do gold uh, sifting but I don't know that we'll be able to do that this early on in the game again so we're really looking for finding a way to transition this trailer into something a little bit more um, valuable for us and gold, gold mining is not going to be the option for us in the long run and gravel mining with this trailer clearly is not going to work so this trailer will likely become a bale trailer um during um during the next time harvest i think that's probably what we'll end up doing is we'll convert this trailer over to a um into a bale trailer and we'll use it to transport a few bales at a time. Um, if bales are a thousand liters and we get 16,000 liters per truckload of the um, forage wagon, we're gonna end up with a lot of bales if I if my math serves right right. So we're gonna have to make a lot of trips, but those trips will be more valuable. Take more time, but those trips will be more valuable. So it's a consideration um, on the next grass harvest. So in the meantime, um, we let's explore our trailer options. I think. Mm. I don't know. I mean, our little quarry is right here. Do we just continue to do nine hundred dollar trips until we reach our level of um, use? I mean, we're going through gas like crazy too with this tractor. Let's take a look at our trailer options. So the trailer we currently have is this one. I wish it told me my weight capacity. It tells me my volume capacity, but does it tell me my weight capacity? Is there a conversion for that? I'm gonna have to look into that because it says it holds 6.2 thousand liters, but it doesn't tell you how much weight it carries. Um, this one carries only 3,000 liters, and this one carries 8,000 liters, which would be nice. And we know this one carries like virtually nothing. This would be a decent trailer because it carries a decent amount. I don't know. It just isn't a lot of mass option. It doesn't tell you what the mass is. I'm going to do some research to find out what that will be. You know, will these trailers be worth while for me to continue to invest in here. Oh yeah, it does have straps, which means I could probably do um, Yeah, yeah, that's nice because then we can put our bales right in there But we got to get a bale fork on this and we got to be able to do that. So what we'll probably do guys is we'll check out of here um, What we'll continue doing. Why am I wage payments when I don't, nobody working for me? I don't understand um, what we'll probably end up doing is we'll we'll check in with you guys when we have made enough money in this business in order to purchase um, my first baler so that I can harvest the field, bale the field and the grass, and lease that um, uh, 
Uh, yeah, because we have our mower, we've got our, yeah, absolutely. That's what we're going to look forward to doing here, is trying to get these things bailed so we don't have to use this forge wagon anymore, except for when we're picking up hay. That would be fine. Hay would be fine to pick up with it, because we don't need to bale hay if we don't have to. We do need to bale our silage, because our silage is going to take a while to convert. We will need this machine here, though, to... Um, make silage at some point to pick up the silage so that's what we'll wait up on and we'll see how that goes but in the meantime we'll check in with you guys in the next episode when i've um earned enough cash flow to change my position here a bit by getting myself um a better growing position here uh and, and silage uh, harvesting because we got a lot more to do and it's taking a while so everyone thanks again for stopping in it's chuck thunder take it easy